Welcome to the Friday Mailbag. It's Friday. We got a lot of stuff to discuss, guys. The Discord was active with these questions. But we have to start with something that came up in the mailbag chat earlier this week. And we have to come up with the tease of the century from Eden. And it's about road rage. We need to talk about road rage, folks. Why can't y'all just be mellow on the road? What's the... Zach's already frozen. Oh, Zach, yes, it happened. It happened. It happened. So, oh, I said, I said within 20 minutes, it took three. Yep. Yes. It took three. <laughs> we should so, start taking bets. Like, like um, how long a cool. ago is Zach going to freeze? I don't know if I, I don't think I do stream right on my work because my work computer is like brand new. I just wonder if I, if it would freeze on this too. Do you just know. use that to write the newsletter? Um, I do some podcasting on it. Strictly um, porn. No, it's work computer. Can't do no. I, that's what my yeah, personal that's computer is for. Only. That's work. Only. That's work. Personal computer. computer is just cinephobe this and porn. Like that's all they do. <laughs> that's why it's frozen. Why yeah, it's, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm not oh, going to close frozen. the porn. It's it's stuck in its cum cocoon. It's just running at all times. <laughs> But road rage came up. Uh, my road rage, even though my commute is literally five minutes, it's a mile. It's a mile straight down Ocean Avenue in San Francisco. Ocean I, Avenue. Exactly. <laughs> it's a place where I used to stop and mm. podcast with you. This thing just, it unfroze quicker than it ever has. Wow. It's, it's usually a, like five minutes. Well, it's just a black screen. Black screen. Yeah, yeah, but I, oh, okay, I there, see. there we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and up. Oh, but you're lagging. Yeah, but it's moving so slow. What is happening? I don't even have anything open. But my road mm-hmm. rage has increased with time. Anytime I see anybody driving like an idiot, which is quite often, even in a short amount of time, I get very upset and it really bothers me. And somehow Zach is the the chill one here. Yeah, everyone just needs to fucking relax on the road. Like I don't I don't get why everyone's so upset all the time. Didn't you I'm always get in a fight with that a dude in a donut shop? Yeah, like, I was going to say. <laughs> you're going to have to narrow it down. Mo, that was, <laughs> yeah, Mo, I, that I, was the that, bagel that box. Okay, anything. That, I know he and Zach <laughs> look the same, sound the same. But no, that was actually the bagel boss <laughs> I, it, video. That's not, I mean, no, I'm, I, I'm literally racking my brain of like, yeah, maybe. No, there was I I, there was one time either you told me a story or it was on a podcast or whatnot or, or somewhere. No, it was, a it while was ago. when the guy was staring at Boogie. He was mad that Boogie was in the at the coffee shop. Oh, that dude! Oh, him. fuck him! I yeah. saw him yesterday. That bitch once again looked away from me immediately. I stare his ass down every time. He's now bigger please than tell me too. Us to He's be a pussy. Uh, do you do you wear the glasses or do you not wear the glasses when you do the stare down? Take my sunglasses Good off question. so he knows. Uh, rumble time. Look at me. Zach does one of these. Time. Hey, you, you look to me in my eye. Stared his ass down yesterday. Uh, so Zach, depending Zach. on my mood, though, I might get really pissed or just be like, all right, whatever. I'll get pissed if I have what, Jamie what in the is, car with me and I get like cut off or something and I almost get in an accident mm. with her. Then I'll get pissed. Lies. I'm good um, with other people I, in the car. <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with Jamie being in the car. No, no. When that I, happens, it does. But there are times I get pissed on my own. It just also depends on my mood in the day. <laughs> yeah, if I'm already in a bad mood. <laughs> yes. Well, that's a given. Do not go one mile under the speed limit. If you're going to yeah. be in the left lane. <laughs> or, or You need to be at my pace. Or stop at a yellow light. Um, no. No. Um, if I'm listening to certain music, it'll make it worse, too. If you like, just what yeah. rage against Move, machine or bitch. Yeah. Yeah. limp biscuit. Yeah, break yeah. stuff. That's that's um, usually no. my go-to gonna, rage. I'm song. not going to pretend I don't get annoyed, but like actually mad and rage. Come on, guys. I'll be I, honest. I, I think like when I used to get road rage back in the day, it was almost like an outlet for all of my other anger. Right. Mm-hmm. That's exactly. It's, it. not about, it's a safe place. Yeah. It's like a glass See, case of emotion. It's a see, safe place to out, shout. I take that out on people who wrong me out in the real world that isn't within a car you know like if you like that yeah, but guy you're wronging who's, me in traffic uh, i mean it's just what I, like because also most people are like 
Don't let someone. I'm like, just zipper it. Like, what are we doing? Everyone's going to get where they need to go. Listen, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Need dra- you don't need I, to drive like yeah, an asshole. That's going to crazy like, when people zipper don't it. zipper it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe it's when people break yeah. the zippering rule that I'm like, bro, yes. I've been in line. Like, you cannot. Yes. Just, like, I, it is my You're not going to fly all the way yeah. down the lane and mm-hmm. cut everybody off. Absolutely the fuck not. Why not? <laughs> There's a certain, your white privilege speaking. There is a certain. Well, I'm white exit, and I'm privileged, yeah. That's... Exit where the 405 and the 10 meet where you get off at Overland in LA and it's kind of zippering, but you can also cheat a little bit and that's get out. That's your and then fault shoot from down. going from the 405 to the 10. That's your fault. That's well, the, the worst. No, no, I don't. It's actually not that bad, but it's like. You should have taken tri- La Cienega <laughs> down to Sunset, <laughs> but then you whole take a ride. Line. There's like a mini lane that you can kind of jump into after the interchange and then just kind of shoot down Overland before the zippering happens. This so is super interesting. All. Yeah, I know. Everybody must love that. <laughs> Wait, do you so, want to give more on yeah. ramps and off ramps that you can do? So there's the 110 and the you 101. You just have to do it in the Californian's <laughs> voice. If you do it in the Californian's voice, then it's entertainment I'm, and we're fine. I'm a, I'm a Californian. That's my voice. No, no, Mo. <laughs> I know. I know what you want. I know what you want. I'm not giving it to you. No, it's gonna bore everybody. I, hold on, I don't think Mo does know. I don't, I don't think Mo does that. No. <laughs> Mo do the voice, do the valley voice, all of it. I'm the Encino man. <laughs> <laughs> Clip that. <laughs> Clip that for the intro. <laughs> but okay, so Eden kind of hinted at it there, but she says. One, she doesn't drive anymore. We get it. You live in New York, Eden. Good job. But she says she got more chill after totaling two cars. And that's, that's why we need to talk about this on the mailbag. The interesting part, yeah. Because, you know, <laughs> total mm-hmm. one car, shame on me, total two cars. <laughs> shame Not on Asian you, female. Cars again. Asian female. Hey, I wasn't going to say it. (laughs) Look, I'm just preempting it. Okay. I'm just, (laughs) I just thought I would, I would, we would just start with that, get it out of the way. Um, but I, I would actually say those instances weren't necessarily so much tied to road rage as they were to definitely trying to get somewhere. Like Katie said, often late, um, just like running late, like just being like, oh shit, oh shit. And like thinking that whatever I have to do is like the most important thing in the world, which of course it's not ever like but it was just kind of like i get reckless when i'm like i I was very reckless in my 20s there was a lot of dumb stuff going on in my 20s and 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 technically i will say there was actually three cars but i didn't total the first one like someone else ran into me and totaled it for me so the other two were your fault for sure you are not car friendly well no why do you think i moved to new york yeah, I was gonna say no, no, it was a smart it's the move. Right place, it's the right place for you to be because you are not car friendly. And it it's is now actually two and a half cars. It, like. Yeah, it was. It was a that is a, one of the biggest reasons I wanted to move to New York because I was like I never want to drive again. I just don't want the responsibility of a car because, like Mo says, me and cars I think we're just not meant to be. We I just, wouldn't. I wouldn't mind living in a place like New York City where you can just walk everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, that sounds like the best. It is man. the best. I there love a, walking. Anything uh, under fifty minutes on Google Maps, fifty five zero. I'm walking it. I'm uh, L A. Using- L A. Made this like I can't remember where it was, but it was like the 20 most walkable cities list and yeah. LA was oh eight. I was God. like, get the no. fuck out of it. Like I can oh, walk no. in my neighborhood, but no, like, that's we're not we're even in walk the top from Redondo Beach to like yeah. absurd. downtown LA. Like you can't even walk around in downtown LA. Like it's terrible. No, no you can't, I, mean, I mean, you can't even stab. take public transportation. You can, yeah. you can, you can walk in your bubble, but you can't walk from one bubble to the next. Not at mm-hmm. all. It made no sense. They shouldn't even been. LA shouldn't even been in, not the even top in your bubble. Yeah, list, sometimes not in your I bubble. I was like, yeah. Houston also made that list. I'm like, oh, okay, Houston's not Houston walkable at all. Lane highways and like I mean, the spread over like it's, it, how many I, census oh. acres? We're gonna hear about this being an AI list. AI wrote mm. this list. There's no way anybody who actually Sports has been to those a human wrote the list just to trigger people to get engagement, if I'm being mm-hmm. honest. Oh, mm. for sure. It's like one of those like candy map lists on Twitter. You Other know? than New York, what what is a walkable city? I mean, New Orleans is walkable. walkable if you stay along the river. Yeah, but New like, Orleans is really not that walkable. Right. Philly and D.C. are both pretty walkable. So Chicago? after I totaled my second car in New Orleans, I had to resort to walking around. <laughs> and it was I could really only go from like the Garden District. To, I like, need you to work that 
into as many sentences as you it's can. It's always a great starter for a sentence. <laughs> After my second total card. After my second total card, I decided I'm going to cut out dairy. I just didn't know. <laughs> <Right. laughs> that was the problem. I just don't need the cheese. Yeah, it was Wait. It was what was giving me gas while I was driving. So Can I ask, what, what's your definition of road rage? Is it doing aggressive things? Is it saying things or actions or just general annoyance? If you're going to like, like yell. Or yeah, anything that where you're oh, like I'm retaliating yelling. with your car, or make it. But if you're like, what the fuck, like just fuck. I honestly never really okay. retaliated also with my several car. cars. Like I rage. never did anything reckless because, like I said, I was reckless in other ways. Not usually tied to rage. I just like would I would yell and scream in in my car though. Yeah, I'm not chasing oh, anybody. I'm yeah. not like tailing them or like I'm gonna get you or I'm gonna cut you off back or yeah. anything like that. I, like it's more than that know, twice was, at this year. After Kissed never them? doing that before, so that's why I'm saying that it's like it's happening. Wow. Now. Jesus, murderer! What is it? Yeah. What before is after mean? watching beef, so, so, is really getting to yeah, yeah. Huh? Beef, like, beef is really like that's yes, good. I, that's I a like good show, front, man. And then turning on my windshield wiper fluid excessively so that it sprays them. <laughs> that annoys the fuck out of me. I know when it's that so happens. annoying. I'm always like, no, <laughs> on the freeway. <laughs> well, oh my god! There's gonna be drops on my windshield for. I can't Nine seconds. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that I've ever like experienced that. Like I don't. I don't feel like I've ever had someone else's windshield yeah, wiper fluid like end up on my. Oh it, yeah, I, it's happened all the time. I just I can't imagine getting mad over that. Even that's crazy. Exactly it's like, happened oh. to you. You were driving too fast, trying to get to some place late. You know, so you probably just whizzed by it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? You were going so fast that you just it didn't even have just, time to hit yeah, your it car. Just went over yeah. your, car, your car probably okay. didn't have windshields. It was like the, the that's guy that... Not, that's actually exactly what it is, Mo. <laughs> yeah, that's, I just don't think I had any of that. Yeah. The guy um, like- that like pretended to shoot me and then we're just like in traffic together. Like what he was like, like with his oh, finger gun? We're on the freeway. He pew, like pew, I pew, like pew. went to change lanes and he sped up. And so I'm like, what the fuck? Like, and then he like starts yelling at me and flips the finger. And then once you flip the finger at me. Mine's going up. Like, yeah, mine went up. Yeah. 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 So I, I flipped him off after he flipped me off. And then he did one of those like finger guys, like, oh, I was like, fuck you. And then we were just like next to each other in traffic on the, on the 405. <laughs> when you like, did for that, like, did you load your minutes. bazooka and be like, <laughs> no. Is that a I bazooka? Mad, they, like, they, <laughs> no, they I was driving, though. I didn't take my hands you? off the wheels. You were said you were in traffic at that oh, point and stopped and looked at each other. You did take me enough to that gun. So we stopped. You do I'd like that gun. <laughs> yes, the ching. That's one of the nicest guns I've seen in a long oh, time. I can't wait to shoot that fucker. That's a long one. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> bit of a long one there. <laughs> favorite when you see a car driving all reckless and fast and whatever, you, you just pull up next to them at the stoplight. Like that got you nowhere. We, like we, was, we made it to the same spot at the same time. Yeah, Look at us. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's like, all right, yeah. asshole. My, my, two, during, my two instances or go ahead, Katie. I was just going to say during the height of COVID, I thought that my road rage got better because I still had to drive to work and there was hardly anyone on the roads. And I was like, my road rage is cured. Oh, I'm and then cured. it got busy took, again. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, that's just it. Yep. <laughs> My two instances where there was one where it's like a three lane, which is basically like a city highway was merging down to one lane because they were doing like night construction or something like that. And I was, you know, back to zippering. I was clearly in the point in the zipper where I was ahead. And this motherfucker is just going. And I look over at him and he is not looking at me at all intentionally. And I'm like, fuck you dude and so we get past i pull up next to him i'm honking my horn furiously and i'm flipping him off (laughs) and that was that and then the other one was i was in the left turn lane at like a pretty big intersection right by my house it's kind of like a complicated intersection but i'm in the left turn lane waiting to turn left this bitch pulls up next to me outside me to the left in the oncoming traffic lane and turns left before me. And I was like, I was just dumbfounded by how fucking stupid that was. Whoa. That I, You're giving and then me it was like right one now, block. retelling it. <laughs> hmm? this is, I had this someone is try to run me off the rage. road with my sister in the car. I definitely had they an incident you. where I was like honking and yelling and like flipping the bird off dad. to a guy, but I was on a phone call. So I was like, yeah, uh-huh. 
<laughs> you, you did like the, the I'm pretending to be dumbed over. Yeah. <laughs> Insert your own swear words here. Yeah, I'm like, oh no, that's great. <laughs> just like going off on this I've been, guy. I've been on the phone with like my mom or my dad and started to just screaming at someone. My mom's like, blood pressure, blood pressure. <laughs> You're gonna kill yourself. That's so funny. That's such so a like, mom thing to say. I mean, I've totally I've keyed cars, I've slashed tires, I kicked a side mirror off once. That wasn't yeah. road rage, that was personal revenge. Yeah. Yeah. You kicked off a side mirror, like yeah, you, you still haven't paid it? that invoice that I gave you. For all that. <laughs> <laughs> that was all to Zach's car. Yeah, that was all. All different what times. Been enough, Katie? You didn't... <laughs> Don't they all happen he didn't at use different his times turn too? Signal. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I can't imagine having more satisfaction than kicking off a side mirror to a car. I feel like and it that comes off so easily too. Yeah, those it's just pop off. Yeah, it was my roommate and I hated her. Like those, yeah, it's like a Lego head. Snap that thing Mm -hmm. out. And it was the driver's side one that really got her. (laughs) Good luck, bitch. I'd be behind her in traffic and I would just see like the sleek left side of her car, (laughs) no mirror. (laughs) (laughs) You you would you would go track down your victim just to look at. (laughs) No, I live with her. Sometimes we sometimes we'd leave at the same time and I'd be behind her. Um, so there's, uh, who is it? Jess or somebody from the Levitard. She hates somebody named Emily, who is her roommate in college. Oh, Lucy. Oh, Lucy. And they're always saying like, yeah, fuck Emily or whatever. And I'm just like, "Mm." no, (laughs) (laughs) it makes me feel bad. All right. A little tangential to this is Jarvarak. Jarvarak. I don't know. From the Discord says, what's your favorite slang word or phrase in another language? Phrase? Sapolat. Sapolat? Yeah. That's what my uh, my Romanian French teacher in high school used to yell at us all the time. Okay. Sapolat. What does it mean? What does it mean? It, it, uh, she, well, we like, we translated it one day and it didn't mean what she said it meant. <laughs> and so I think it's like a Romanian more Romanian thing than a French thing, uh-huh. though it's a, but it was it was something like she would say like it meant shut up, and uh. but it it never like I don't know she it kind of felt like a slur when she said it she was like super Romanian like like this like tough woman in her like late fifties I think her husband was like an Olympic gymnast teacher. Either for, either, either for the U.S. or he might have been. I don't know. I mean, do Romanians molest? I don't know if Romanians it, I molest. I thought that was just PEDs for them. I, I think it's I just thought, the Americans that do. I thought it was just <laughs> the gymnast instructors, period. It's the last thing I believe is universal, Zach. I don't think you can confine I, I think, that to the United States. I think she's too scary of a wife to risk <laughs> molest. Like, she was... Like, what? She, she was... She was a She was a lot of... She was, like... <laughs> Like she was so you could tell as a younger woman, like in her twenty, like she was probably the hottest person in Romania. Like she, <laughs> like, like she was a little weathered at that point, but she, you could tell, like this yeah, was a good looking day, person. Yeah, she and was weathered she, in her twenties. No, 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 she was weathered when, like, like when she was my teacher, like oh, in her oh, late fifties okay. or whatever. Maybe she was in her sixties. Um, but she was like, I mean, she she was scary. She was scary. So she was hot and scary. Like I don't think he was. I don't think he yeah. was even like changing lanes without a turn signal, let alone mm. going after. But he was either a U.S. gymnast instructor or a Romanian <laughs> gymnast instructor. I can't remember which one. Is this is is this where you had your formative years of of women that you're attracted to? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Because I I think I was too afraid of her to be attracted. I could just tell, like, oh, this woman, oh, like, she used to be hot. super hot. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, she was wow. scary. Oh my gosh, she was like scary. Inti- just like yeah, this is a scary woman. <laughs> yeah, not I'm like not intimidating for me. Like, not e- not even like a like a oh ruin my life kind of. It was like a I think she'd cut me. <laughs> like, then, like I'm not, not gonna act up in class. Yeah, like not right. a hot yeah. way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you could be stabbed in a hot way. I, that wouldn't have been it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's, yeah. No, yeah. no king. That's what you're event. hoping yeah. for every time you go to karma. Pretty um, much. Yeah. <laughs> the, I don't. It doesn't have the story Zach has, but yeah, Habibi or Habibti. 
I do like Habibi. Habibi is a great is, is, word. Is, is, a, is pretty much the favorite. I have, I have to. so many. Yeah, go for go a... go while I'm thinking still. Inshallah, like my, mm-hmm. a lot of my friends are. Isn't Muslim. that salad in Italian? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, in, in in salad. Salad. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it, it does. Yeah, that sounds like it. You're like, hey. Everybody pauses first and they're like, you're not saying it right, but we know what you mean. Uh, and then also, uh, kre an kre, right? Uh, that's Korean. So it's kind of like, am I right what, or am I right? I guess is the American <laughs> type of thing. So yeah, I use those a lot, actually. And you know what inshallah means, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. That's, what does it mean? <laughs> what does it God mean? Willing. It's, it's God go. willing. God willing. Yeah. It's like anytime you're, hey, I'll see you later tonight, inshallah. Like anytime yeah. I say anything to my dad, it's at the end of it, inshallah. Yeah, exactly. it's, and it's a very serious tone from him when he says that. But yeah, it's like, uh, don't, don't test the fates. You might get mad at somebody in road rage and have a problem. <laughs> Well, after I totaled two cars, um, I started using <laughs> this phrase a lot. Uh, one is wow. <laughs> one is Chongsin Chario Isekya, which is mm. like w- w- wake the f up, like get your sh- shit get together. Your shit together. Yeah. Um, I also really like Shingyong um, Go Isekya, which is like mind your business, but it just sounds way better. Okay, but you're Korean. you're leaving out the fact that you keep saying Shekya at the end. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I mean that's a that's a given. Obviously, like obviously, we we all know what that. But Ka- explain for Katie. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> basically, like bastard, bastard. motherfucker. Yeah, she bought yeah. yeah. is like the, you yeah. motherfucker. Like I mean, I get your shit together. Um, you said right. <laughs> like, yeah, is just like your crazy <laughs> mf'er. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, and like so, I also really like to use like as you guys know in the group chat, uh, ryokai, ryokai shimashita. Like that's mm. like Roger that, but Roger that sounds so lame in English. Oh so my lame God. in no. English. It's, what yeah. a fucking nerd it is Roger? Who cool. even yeah. is Roger? I think but we can just blame generations like, of Roger for that. An appropriate response to something like when May says we're doing the mailbag at this time, it's like wasn't yeah, that ryokai isn't that military? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like ten so fours, it might, it might like. Be- Amin he, sent us that bizarre military slang oh, list, yeah. Zach. Maybe Roger is the R on there, and that's what that is. But um, You mean like Roger Tango Alpha? Tango, yeah, yeah, exactly. Papa is P, which we learned. Also, Quebec yeah, is Q, true. which is yeah. fucking stupid. Oh, like the Charlie so Alpha or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Gotcha. Uh, when you're okay. saying a, when you're saying a code or whatever, you say the, the f- yeah, yeah, yeah. word instead uh, of the yeah. letter. My, f- I mean, the first one that popped into my head for French is zoot. I love zoot, which just means damn. Like it's a, it's a nice, quick Z word. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm tra- I've been trying to think of other ones, but I got, a, I got another it? one. Bachi, whenever it's like karma or, or I think it's Japanese. Jamie says it to me all the time. Whenever I say something and then immediately get hurt is, you know, that's bachi. She's not saying baka, right? What's that? She's not saying baka, right? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, baka is you baka. idiot. Yeah. <laughs> um, also really like in Korean, gabojima. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, don't, like quit playing. Like, yeah. Sounds it's like a whole also. song. It's just, that's all they say. <laughs> gabojima. I kind of um, like this one because... Say, but my, yeah, go ahead. Um, I don't know how to say it, but my dad's grandfather used to say in Italian, I hope you have a <clears throat> brain aneurysm to the children. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> that's... Wow. wow. I feel like we need to look that up on Google loving, Translate and see if we can... A loving little phrase. I, I don't know how to say this phrase in Arabic, but it was it translated to me once after somebody had said it to me in Arabic, and it's sometimes, I'd rather you fart than speak. <laughs> that's a good nice. one. I, I, I don't know how to say it in Arabic, but I was, was like, I need one. to learn. That's a <laughs> yeah, I like that one a lot. Yeah. Every um, time, every time Katie shares something, I feel like we're all just playing in the minor leagues. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. no, she's hers. Katie's Katie's doing her own thing. I, in Italian, I like vaffanculo. Just go fuck yourself. Uh, that just sounds fun to say. Um, no, no capiche. I like saying capiche. I feel like that's I a little like a played out. Andiamo. Yeah, it's just that's andiamo. a little too full house. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like I feel like British is a qualifies as a, another language. So I'll say knackered. If you say you're knackered when you're Ooh, fucked careful. up, I think that's pretty funny. 
Yeah. They use that a lot in Australia. And the first time I heard that, Say it very quickly, and I'm like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> Noah Knackered. Yes, that's right. That's that's what that one is. Careful. Okay, Zach. Sorry. Be respectful. Trying to, trying to help you. Well, no, that's not, be respectful. it is a be respectful situation. Maze doesn't like when I tell him to be respectful really of certain don't. things because you're not. You should hear what? how Zach says La Cienega. I love the look on Maze's no, face. No, right that was Brian <laughs> Sussman, and that was him trying to parrot. The uh the navigation voice. He's like, oh, you gotta you gotta hear how it says La Cienega. And then he would do, and then he would repeat it. It's like, yo, shut the like it's you're problematic. white. <laughs> you can't do that. The the whitest white that ever it was whited. telling you you can is not a pass. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Waz is just doing it for his own enjoyment. <laughs> Waz would try to get him to say the N-word. Like <laughs> there is nothing surprising yeah. about that at all yeah the, the chaos agent himself Wazmi Lambre okay Juliano says what's your floss style standard floss floss pick water pick business card uh, I use options? standard floss but it has to be the good kind it can't be that like really crappy it's gotta be, it's gotta be oral B right yeah, like the, stuff, yeah. the the one that's kind of flat, but a not nice the one, one that's bouncy. Because the ones that are bouncy just flicks it everywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have to tell me. <laughs> I had a water pick, but that shit was messy. Yeah, that's what the I The first hear, time like, I used I really my water pick. One, but I heard it's like, it's just ceiling, mirror, yes. everywhere. <laughs> so I, I do the little individual, like, yeah. candle ones. Um those are what I use. And I recently moved to an electric toothbrush for the first time. Woo. Really? Yeah, in 2024, right you just you just got onto the That's wild. Toothbrush. I was an analog man. Yeah, I I like I like the arm action. I was the same boat as him. Yeah, just That's crazy. Crazy. my battery. My battery died on my electric toothbrush the other day, and just using it like or I was I'm like, I don't to, feel like I'm this is doing this anything. Going. I'm afraid to wear this. Yeah, going. I didn't even come. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Zach's I like been the individual and... floss sticks. I like the water pick. Mm. I'll use a business card in a pinch mm. in the car, or like the um, like the top to something you like ripped off, like a plastic bag that's got some sturdiness oh, yeah. to it. If you're or in like, a real pinch, yeah, a straw Toothpick. is helpful. Straw can be good. Straw. Too. Mm-hmm. I heard yeah, someone been... say that they pull strings off their sock and use it. And I found that to be pretty Whoa. disgusting. Whoa. I mean, I'd rather just use my hair if it's like really that desperate. Oh. <laughs> then wow. like, you're into a, a string on your sock, Zach? I, you could like, just you, wait. You could just wait. Could That's, you actually... Sometimes you can't. Like, doesn't your hair break if you try to do that? Because my teeth are like really close together, so I need something like sturdy. If I mean, I, I don't hair- really do this on a regular basis. I'm just saying, like, if, I, if I'm really like in a pinch, <laughs> it's happened before. I, I don't uh, yeah. really... I'm not like testing Yesterday, out like... <laughs> It's not Yesterday, a go-to, but I got yeah, one of those long, like wooden, like uh, coffee stirs, and I broke it in half to where it was like a little pointy, and then I picked something out of my teeth. That guy who was staring at Bucky. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was going to be a little bit of a John Wick thing. Boom! It stabbed him in the eye. I got a water pick in the in the last year, and yeah, it is it is definitely a challenge to learn how to do it while keeping your mouth closed yeah, and not spraying shit mm-hmm. all over the place. That's what she said, but it <laughs> is effective. Make sure you sure. turn it off before you take it out of your mouth. Also that. Yes. Oh. Also that. Yep. <laughs> or just God damn. Yeah. Five dudes. Oh my God. Five dicks. Damn. Talking a little too much about five picks. Oral. Five to picks. Not drop that drop <laughs> in there. Okay. Ant Ham 16. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Can't do that one. I remember now. February de Fiano, That's. Our guy, Enrico, who was on last week, what's a behavior you've always found completely normal and done throughout your life, but then discovered through a friend, partner, stranger that it's considered mental or not acceptable? And he brings this up because he vaguely recalls a discussion of Mays having glasses of milk at a restaurant, which prompted the question. It's a good memory, Enrico. <laughs> gotta, yeah, you, still gotta, have, you still have glasses of milk at restaurants? I don't, but I took my mom to her birthday dinner yesterday. And we sat down and she ordered a tall glass of milk and they brought out the glass of milk and they set it down on the table. And this 
table full of ladies next to us were like, ooh, what's that? Is that a sake <laughs> drink? Ooh. And my mom's like, it's milk. <laughs> Does she ask what kind of milk before she orders? Uh, most kitchens just usually skin. have whole milk as a standard. Yeah. And most 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 restaurants have milk, but do not put it on the menu because why would you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because yeah. why would but you? Unless it's it like a breakfast or whatever. place. I feel like then they do. Yeah. But I feel like if they have more than one kind of milk, they will tell you. And they'll be like, yeah. do you want this or that? True. Otherwise, I would just assume that it's whole. But yes. And then when they found out that it was milk... They weren't interested anymore. Funny well, how that works. Yeah, I would have been more interested. Follow up and ask if it was oat milk. Oat milk. <laughs> no, just said it was no, like a white Russian or something. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe it? if it was me, I would have messed with them. But no, it was it was my mom, and she was like, "No, I'm very proud of this that I'm doing this, Aww. and actually, you will you will understand her. that it is also, milk. happy birthday. Yeah, yeah. happy yeah. birthday, Mama Mays. Happy was birthday, her birthday to my actually mom. yesterday? Uh, it was a week earlier. But it was a, it was eighteenth. Okay, a question: Do you people? Jamie has a thing where we don't you celebrate people. birthdays. Yeah, 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 he just said you like, people. I, heard no, you people. Guys, <laughs> I said that and then realized I need to explain this first and then see if you guys had that. It was okay, so. That, do you people? <laughs> Jamie yes, has a thing: you don't celebrate birthdays before they actually happen. So, like, you could do it after the date, but not before. So, oh, we're the opposite. Uh, and no. my, I do my it whenever parents I were always like, you can't celebrate after the fact. It's like pointless if you celebrate after the really? fact. Yeah. They I mean, were I like, kind of leave it up to the birthday period. person. But I, if, 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 for instance, she had said, I want to go to my birthday dinner mm -hmm. a week early, I would have been like, sure. Yeah. 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 Mine's Sir, based on convenience entirely. Bad luck. There's no such thing is as a good cultural or bad luck. thing, or, or is that like a personal thing? That's not a real thing. She, she thought it was a cultural thing, but then she also found out that, like, from her mom, that like, her mom does it and, and did it. But then we found out that it was, like, not cultural. So now uh, it's like, oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> I've run yeah, into I that think before. It's just based convenience. So you're yeah. saying that it was something that she thought was completely normal and done throughout her life, but then discovered that it's not acceptable, is what you're telling me, Mom. Well, it's not. It's not that it's not acceptable. It's just not cultural. That's yeah. all. We're still doing it this way. I was trying to tie it to the question. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was just being a good host and all that stuff. But mm -hmm. I'm terrible any, at this. Any other weird habits? Most really bad at conversation. Mo very bad. Very, <laughs> really bad. Very, bad. very bad. Very bad. <laughs> Zach knows. I'm with him. I hang out with him. He knows. Um. Yeah. I, mean, I don't I'm think it's weird. And calling but... someone. What is it? Pick him. Oh, call actually calling someone. Yeah. That's, 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 that's so psychotic. weird. Oh. I know. It's a habit I can't break, guys. That's crazy. It sends everyone. I, mean, I have to have the TV volume end in a zero or a five. Ooh. Oh. And okay. I won't open the microwave unless it's on a zero or a five, even if there's a fire. I'm okay. the same Has there been a fire before and you just were like, I'm not going to open no. it? Oh, okay. There's, like, Hold on, there's been where it's like, seconds. it should come out now, but I'm like, mm, gotta wait. And you know, <laughs> microwave time takes forever. Yeah, that, that 30 seconds is not 30 seconds. No. Hmm. What no do you mean by that? Sack? What? The 30 seconds is not 30 seconds? Not on a microwave. It feels like an it's eternity. It's about 38. Oh, it's 38 real, you can real go seconds. do another errand and come back and it'll be at 23 <laughs> seconds. Like 100%. it's not a, uh, Zach dribbling a basketball at work, you know, anything like that jogging your memory or what a, a, a behavior you thought was completely normal. And then you realized that it was weird later. Um, I mean, it, it is, it was weird to then go work for the court. And not have a basketball to dribble <laughs> through the snacks. Show up to the first day of court, basketball. But don't have a ball. <laughs> yeah, basketball and just like dribbling through the files. Like you're no. like it's a court. I mean, yeah, like I'm sitting at my desk. Why can't I just dribble between my legs right now? This is because stupid. You, you were going to a court. Did you have to like dress up a little nicer? Did you have to like put on slacks or whatnot? Uh, or was it only, just like only when? So one week a month, uh, the court was in session, and when I had to be a bail, we rotated between me and two other workers. So whenever it was my month, um, then I had to like wear a suit to court and everything. Uh, but other than that, it was like a decent shirt and, you know, jeans were fine. Like it right. wasn't like a, Just it wasn't that strict. A lot of polos. It's back when I had polo. Like, oh my God. Polo I told shirts. someone yesterday, oh, I, would, 
Never wear mm. a polo again. You could. I don't. I, I I I like polos, so I don't mind. I had a big polo phase. Me too. Yeah. I mean, I used to work at Abercrombie. Thank so. you, American Eagle. <laughs> yeah, never, I was like, I used to work at Abercrombie, so. <laughs> Never wore a polo shirt. Never liked them. With my plaid skirt or shorts. Ooh. I like that look. That's back now. Is I think it? I've shared it Is before, it? but I do have this this weird habit that I've always done since I was little. I mean, I think most of my brother, my family did it was like, if you finished washing your hands and you were just using a paper towel to dry your hands, we'd like lay it out on the counter and like let the let paper towel dry. It? Reuse and like it. reuse it again until it like starts to fall apart and then like use it to like wipe the counter later also like when it's like down to its last last couple of uses or something you I mentioned you, that on the pod before how many uses? so i started doing that yeah i don't reuse it to redry my hair <laughs> but i use it to wipe off it depends it's yeah yeah it depends like sometimes if it's like just like, like is it a bounty yeah. The bounties last way longer. They really do, actually. <laughs> like versus like the one ninety, uh, the dollar no ninety nine. No free roll. ads. Uh, yeah. The Are we selling bounties? Do the yeah do actually hold up way longer than than the cheap cheapo kind, the generic the generic supermarket kind. But yeah, I figure it's good for the environment. So, and I can't really use the reusable ones because I really don't trust. Like I have really sensitive skin, so it's like I don't trust that. Like after over time, I just feel like stuff starts to grow on your towels. Like, for sure. Yeah, I'd, I would agree with that. Especially if they're constantly mm-hmm. damp, yeah. you know. So mm-hmm. they'll get that smell. All right, Paul Bull asks: When you go to the supermarket and something you need is the last one left on the shelf, do you buy it or wonder what's wrong with it because it's the last one and don't buy it? It depends on the don't shelf. Don't even think about it. In sometimes, like if the shelf looks really dusty, like. I don't love that. You're getting your condensed milk. Yeah. <laughs> evaporated. More evaporated. Milk. More yeah. evaporated. <laughs> <laughs> it's all, yeah. Sometimes. And it's like, if, if there's like a dent in the can, it's like, yeah. mm, I don't know. Like, just, just not sure how I feel about this. It depends. It depends, it depends. how bad you need it too. That's Is true. it on sale? Is it the last one? Do you want to go to another store and look? But it also not depends really. like the product, yeah. like produce. If it's the last one, I'm like, nope. Yeah, you know, like the other day, because literally buy everyone else has picked a better Every one. other ones. Yeah, yeah, the good ones and stuff like that. I don't like mind a box if the can's of cereal. Get, it's like whatever you know. If the can's it's the Brock Purdy or whatever, of or whatever. ears of yeah. corn, and yeah. it's, <laughs> it's it's corn irrelevant is what it is at that point. It's uh, if, produce I mean, if, is if more, I need yeah, it, then different. I'm just gonna fucking grab it. Like I like if it looks bad, then it look if it looks fine, then I yeah. that's crazy to me that you would be like, oh, it's the last one. I don't know. Like, well, no, like yeah, I was trying to visibly, buy romaine lettuce yesterday, and the last two that were there all looked like they were going to go bad within yeah. the next twenty four hours. I'm like, I'm not spending money on that. Yeah, right, like, but, if, that, if, but that's if what I'm saying. Like, like yeah. if it looks fine, then yeah. oh yeah, well matter. that's what yeah. I mean though. Like, yeah, I, looked, I would judge. I would. I would take a second to assess the situation. But it's like if it's like a box of pancake mix, and there's like clearly looks like someone stomped on it. You know, I don't want the pancake <laughs> mix that bad. <laughs> Do you dent the can and then go to them? I need a discount. This can's dented. <laughs> that was only before I totaled the two cars. <laughs> oh. Did I want to go in folks. That was a different era. Wow. We're all very impressed with Eden's callback skills. <laughs> I way more encounter that there's none than there's one. Mm-hmm. Uh, that happens yeah. way more often in my experience. And having Dude, worked this- in a grocery store, I just know that that means that somebody didn't fucking stock the shelves that day. <laughs> I, Dude, I have this, a uh, in the back. This Rite Aid near me, they are. I mean, Rite Aid is really in trouble. This shit is never <laughs> stocked. Far- now. Pharmacies like, are never, fucked. never stocked. Like yeah. the pharmacy is always completely full. No, well, that's all, that's the whole thing. The yeah. pharmacy itself is fine, it's, right? Yeah. But everything and then there's else, like, it the, is the, like the store that surrounds it is completely unnecessary. And completely point. fucked. Wait, Except wait. I went to a CVS yesterday that was like that. Yeah. Yeah. How was that the beverage selection was horrible by you? That, oh god! Those people uh, buy- <laughs> do I have an update on the convenience store? Li- Not really. Just the parking. Okay. The parking's been driving me insane. Uh, they routinely park in front of a fire hydrant, and then. Next to the f- car parked in front of the fire hydrant in the crosswalk, fully blocking half the street. Jeez. And I, I want to like, I don't understand. Like, I think the cops have given up completely 
I think the cops have given up on this corner. They're like, we can't do anything about it. They don't come by that. You could get, you could make, I don't know. I don't know how much a fucking blocking a fire hydrant ticket is, but it's gotta be like 300 bucks. I don't, you could be making 300 bucks a day. Yeah. That's what I was like. Just ticket them. Like, I don't know. Yeah. It's mind blowing. But, um, but, hey, I have a grocery store question for you guys. Yeah. Do you guys feel like enoki mushrooms are something that are mainstream enough that you should just be able to find at any grocery store now? I don't know what kind of mushroom. No, that I don't know what it not. is means probably not. Yeah, okay. because I don't right. know what that is. Fine. I guess I am wrong then because I was like um, venting to my are, brother. Are those the like it looks like a bouquet of flowers? Yeah, yeah they're mm-hmm. really tiny, right? Uh, I don't know I, if those are I don't know if those are mainstream enough. I no. feel yeah. like I they're see not white, these. cremini or portobello. I don't think you're getting them. Okay. Yeah. I feel All like right. I see shiitake these. Shiitake even shiitakes can Shiitake is shiitake is about the most exotic common mushroom that I see. Yeah. I see shiitake mushrooms regularly now but i was what just do you, like I, you, what do you use the enokis for eden everything like easy quick easy stir fry like throw yeah mm-hmm. as like um hot pot throw it into soups like it's really yeah. versatile because the flavor itself is not that strong it's really good just like thrown in the pan with like a little bit of butter and soy sauce to finish like so i i just i don't know i guess i use it so commonly and i see it used in asian cooking so much that i'm like I, I thought that I would be able to find it at a grocery store, but none of the three grocery stores that I frequent that are within like 15 minutes of walking from me have it. And I'm like, I have to that's, order it. Like, that's go surprising. To like, yeah. I'm not yeah. Always, well, because yeah. I feel like in New York, it's yeah. a more like diverse food culture. Like if you went to like Nebraska, I'm like, you're not going to see that anywhere. In except other for neighborhoods. Grocery store. Yeah. In other neighborhoods, I'll be able to find it, but not in mine, apparently. So, but I'll I was just like, and report back. I think right. I have seen I th- there's like a there's like a mushroom pack mm-hmm. that has five yeah. different kinds or something oh, like no, that. I hate that shit. Has that. Yeah. Fucking that grow is, up. Yeah, this is like- a, this isn't a cereal <laughs> sampler, okay? <laughs> that got that got Zach's attention. Oh my god. <laughs> Variety pack of mushrooms. Road rage never is for losers. Never. Mushroom mm-hmm. rage is where it's at, guys. Absolutely. <laughs> no, I'm not against rage. I just think on the road like Enough's enough. Just be okay. calm about I, your I mushrooms. Agree. Jack. I agree with you, Zach. I agree. Now. I, you know what the thing is? I say be respectful about the mushrooms that you buy. Don't buy a fucking variety pack. Nice he's try. An, he's an huh? ally. Hundred percent for the mushroom <laughs> game. Absolutely. <laughs> you sounds like a mushroom separatist to me. Just saying. But to touch on the the pharmacy store thing, just real quickly in San Francisco, they've given up completely. Because the theft has gotten so outrageous yeah. that they first they went to everything is in a locked case, literally yeah. everything, mm-hmm. and there's one employee. So yeah. good luck good getting luck. all your shit. <laughs> yeah, you have to get to the front of the, the checkout. Case. Like yeah. they're they're checking people out, but you also need somebody to come open everything so you can right. just get so that they have three things go around. Yeah, it's a joke, and then they just. They they started closing stores. They're like, it's literally not worth it to have <laughs> this many Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aids, whatever. Like, we're just gonna fold up shop. It's it's pretty Damn. fucking insane. Isn't that why Oakland clo- like the In and Out in Oakland closed recently? It was because of, because of theft. It's like the first one in, since like 1976. And they, I believe it. In and Out closed. Mm-hmm. I mean, what were they stealing? I didn't read the article. Trash Burgers. Fries. Fries. <laughs> Yeah, that's interesting. First location in history. That's a great trivia question. Thanks, Mo. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. See, I helped today. Yeah, that was you, useful. You did help. You, you, you've you've actively disrupted just about every segment and ruined the flow <laughs> of conversation. Gonna, are we going to talk but, about uh, Beverly Hills Housewives or mm-hmm. are we going to talk about beef? No, I didn't watch it. Oh, okay. I we finished beef. I binged it for you guys. Oh, yeah, I'm, only, I'm, only, I'm only like three episodes in. Oh, I, I had a lot of shit to do. Yeah. has yeah. anything to say about anyone else's fashions, Mo? Back me up. Oh here. my god! Oh my god! Like, what the <laughs> fuck is this woman? I love wearing? the idea of you two discussing fashion. <laughs> Mo, Mo no, being she's a not fashion even wearing a shark shirt. Take. <laughs> T- a I do have a, something no, I did not see coming. It's, it's not even about being. Fa- it's just so, just like, what the fuck are you wearing? Yeah, or she's like, like, she has cool. her hair in a weird way and stuff, and it's like she with has a thing now with a whole bunch of like, uh, like medals, mm. as if she's in like a marine or something, a decorated vet, and all this stuff with with like a, a tube top. It just no, it just doesn't look good. Looking like xenon girl of the twenty first century. I mean, well, she Reference. absolutely looks good. 
No, I mean, like, <laughs> shout out to Xenon Girl of the 21st she, century. She looks good in everything. You need to start cruising the uh, Encino the coffee shops for her, Zach. Well, first of all, all right, here's the thing I'll say because I didn't watch your latest episode, so I can't talk about that. But none of these motherfuckers Henry's live in Beverly Hills. Go. None of them do. None of them do. No. None no, of them. No, no. Her and her had, had, a bid. Bid. They had a big, like, powwow at a. Uh, Encino ca- uh, Cafe that I've gone to. I was like, I know that place. That's when Garcelle took her son to, to dinner, that was at this like fucking sushi spot like down the road from me. Yeah, not in Beverly like, Hills. Guys, guys, it's Beverly Hills is a state of mind. No it's one not. actually lives in Beverly Hills. Lisa it's Vanderpump the, did. It's a city <laughs> that people know from the television WB? show 30, 35 years ago now. Oh, God. I got to rewatch 90210. That was Never watched a, it. Oh my god! It was it, it was dude. It was a, literally week it was to the week show. appointment viewing. It and, was the uh, show when Tiffany Amber Theason was the on reboot. there, and she oh. was a hoe. <laughs> oh my god, she Whoa. was the best. No, no what? it was it was shocking too, though, because it was like she, Kelly no, she was this nine zero two one hoe. Everybody, she was sleeping with everybody. She was maniacal. She was like evil. Like oh, Valerie Malone. Okay, is so just by the that greatest. point, by that point, y- you're. <laughs> your type had been cemented. <laughs> yes. Oh, she, that cemented my type the, for sure. The right. Romanian French teacher. This was before quite. that. No, this was before oh, that. Okay. This was yeah. Gotcha. So it, was was like, really, she was just too intense for you. This, this was Romanian like 94, teacher. 95. Yeah, it was like yeah. that show was wild. Mm. Is that the one with Brian Austin Green? He's yes. just uh Is that the one with the, that's what Brian Austin one. Green is from? <laughs> the only one. <laughs> What quick made him? Willing who that is, real quick. It's Megan. It's, oh, it was Megan Fox's Megan husband Fox's before Baby Machine Daddy. Gun Kelly. Mm-hmm. And she 100% dated and married him because he was on that show. I, he I, was, was, he I was a match. man with three names. I once matched with uh, this girl on, so do on I. I don't know, Hinge or something. And uh, and we were talking, and, and this is before the chance to, like, all right, maybe let's get a drink or something. And she would not stop talking about how much she loved Machine Gun Kelly. And I was like, this is never going to happen. Like, this is not. I never, I literally never asked her out. I just eventually just let it fizzle. Man, the that is actually fizzle. a really good Super like, red, red flag, flag indicator yeah. is what celebrities you she was are like, really oh, music into. Is, or... It moves me. It may, uh, Cause it's, yeah, it's it one thing her. to be like, I think yeah. Machine Gun Kelly is hot. And you can be like, okay, like, I, had no, yeah, I disagree. It had nothing but to do with that. It, it was his that's music. Fine. His, Moving she's listening, to, she's listening to him for his artist. lyrics and his, you know, his poetry. When he started making punk rock music, I really like he. I feel like he really evolved as an artist, and he really just captured his spirit. So bad. Bard Sorry, Field. lady, you're hot, but you're not that hot. <laughs> How hot would you have you to be? Like Melrose Place. Bro, you understand? Never got into Melrose pr- Place. Oh, that was. I never that got into picked that. it up and that, that was for adults. <laughs> yeah, that was for adults. That was too above my head. You know, I was like, nine two one zero. You're like, whatever. Yeah, there's forty five year olds in co- or in high school, but no, Melrose Place was. <laughs> these people are all doing coke all the time. Yeah, it was too much. Incredible. It was like that show. What was it called? Silk Stockings or whatever. Oh, only that's came a on. Great like, show. <laughs> yes. like, oh yeah. my god. USA Network, right? Was that it? Oh, that was a horny show. <laughs> is that is that like basic cable Skinamax? Yeah. Pretty, mm-hmm. Yeah. It was like I don't know that one. It was was that on USA? <laughs> yeah, I thought I it was. So. I thought it was USA. Whenever yeah, I yeah, so it was it. like whatever. What's the most sexual content you could put on USA Network back in like the nineties? That's what that was. Yeah, was it a, like a detective show or something yeah. like that? Yeah, nobody knows. It was just horny. <laughs> but, <laughs> horny show. Yeah, but it they like, never oh, solved no. the crime. It was of course like, not. They're too horny. <laughs> They're too busy trying to fuck. Uh, My dad like recently got hair. into Law Order. Huh? Doing this dude's hair here. My dad's got into Ooh, wow. recently with its re rebirth. Also, like the star, and, the star badge on the belt. That's an interesting look. Because then, when you flash oh your badge, God. you're actually flashing your dick. Right. He looks like oh, a real wow. life Johnny Bravo. He does. Yeah. He yeah. looks like Johnny Bravo fucked Johnny Drama. Oh my God! Yeah, totally. Is he from nine hundred two one zero. Nice. No. Is that no. guy from nine hundred two one zero. Rob Estes. No. No. Yeah. He. Uh, oh, maybe yeah. he was on a couple. He was from episodes. Melrose Place. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was in the reboot. And the I reboot believe, of 90210, which which Katie watched and <laughs> exclusively. I watched, oh, hold sure on. Did. I watched the fuck out of that too. That was not yeah. bad. Okay, it wasn't good, but it was not bad. 
the girl who the like, the, like looks like a lion or whatever. You know, she was she just had this Anna crazy, Cord. crazy mane of hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was. She was insane. Her a character on ins- Nip Tuck. Oh, I don't know if I, I was never that the only Nip one Tuck. that watched Nip Tuck here. Yeah, Probably. I never watched oh. it. I only watched a that few episodes. That was a episodes. horny show too, though. Wasn't oh yeah, it? super horny. <laughs> every, I was watching, every commercial so, for it was horny, so I no, would say so. Yeah, y'all like in what? So I was like, I had, I was really into it when I was in college, and so I'd like watch it, and like my roommates legit always thought it. Like when I had it on that, I was you watching porn. Watching porn, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "Why would I do that with the door wide open? It's literally nip hey, tuck." You know? Maybe you're no an exhibitionist. I thought you, you know. Come on in. <laughs> the water's warm. <laughs> Temperature's just right. I don't, I, don't, I don't like that. Please don't do that. Yeah. I don't like that. Hey, yeah. like that hey Zach. Come no. on in, baby. No. Oh, I don't like Damn, this. Damn, this show had eight seasons. Come take a seat right here. Get episodes. comfortable. I got a free coffee yesterday from a from Is a gay Katie guy. And I think it's just because yeah. I was like not flirting, flirting with him, but I was very not like I wasn't just like, oh, I was like, hey, how are you doing? You know, whatever. And then I had hey, to order. Little, hey, boy, how are you doing? I had to order <laughs> a second coffee. Um. And I was like, oh, shit, can I actually order this, too? And he, he was like, yeah, let me bring it. Actually, you just take it. Ooh. <laughs> we'll just take it. Smart. <laughs> Got it. Smart move. Oh, so he yeah. was the barista? Yeah. The accidental uh... second order. Gotta love it. Mm-hmm. The oldest, the oldest, the oldest trick in the play book. in Zach Harper's yeah. playbook. Oh man, that and you know what? I'd really like a second order of chili cheese fries from Johnny Rockets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's where it started. That's where it started. That's where I. That's where I, uh, that's where I was able to cut, cut my teeth. teeth. You perfected yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna wrap up a little early today soon, but I wanted to say that True Detective season two, or sorry, not season two, True Detective Night Country. Which had night a second country. episode last Sunday. Night Country, because it's in Alaska where it's night for a, a month straight, uh, is good. I like it. And w- a couple people here have said that they want to binge the whole thing. So we probably won't talk about it until the very end. But it's only six episodes. So that'll be in about a month. It'll probably be wrapping up. Yeah. Jodie Foster's great. They got rid of Pizzolatto. They're making a lot of connections this, to the first season alone. again. It's nice. back for sure. I definitely am enjoying that. If I haven't watched any of them, can I watch this and still be fine? Or do I have to go back and watch? Uh, it's You can definitely watch it without watching the first one. So far, the connections to the first one are essentially just references. I would it's, watch the first one just because it's fucking good. Exactly. Yeah, it's the really first good. one is yeah. really good. It's yeah. like exceptional television. It's yeah, great. I probably won't get to it. You can skip two and three, though. <laughs> Most like great. I don't give a fuck. Uh, no, it's, you know, the funny thing was <laughs> like, not it, was my last season, want it. it was my last season with the Clippers when that show came out. Mm. Uh, and it was so and, and just everybody talking about it. And some of the people who I absolutely couldn't stand within that organization were big fans of the show. So some of it has nothing to do with the show and me just going yeah. like, ah, that's associated. one of the dumbest reasons you could possibly have for Zach, not wanting you to watch the show. Me for a long time. That's, I've that's had really, a lot of dumb ass reasons for a really lot of things. You've weird. known me long enough. But I don't know. Gonna, this is like Amin won't watch Forgetting Sarah Marshall, right? Is that the one? Well, Why? He's missing out. He won't but, watch what, it again. What's the reason? Because Too much hype? The first time they went and watched it following a big playoff loss, maybe? Oh, I think it's Forgetting Sarah right. Marshall. Drama. And so it reminds him of the playoff loss. I'm like, In you, San Antonio? That's so stupid. Your job is to get drunk in like Milwaukee now. <laughs> like, what do you like? This is not the same thing. Like, you can watch it again. It's a great movie. Yeah, I think it was in San Antonio. Like, they were on like a yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember what movie trip. it was, but I do remember. I thought it was that forgetting story. Sarah Marshall, but or might somewhere be it. something in those in that like genre. And Jason Madison and I went through the top ten TV shows of 2023. That's up on the Count the Dings. Oh, it's on the Name Keep em. Up feed. Name them. Uh, succession number Name one. Em. Number two was The Bear. Name number three was Name Barry. Em. Number four Abby. was Fargo. Number five, Abbott Elementary. Number six, The Curse. Number seven, Poker Face. Number eight, Righteous Gemstones. Number nine, The Last of Us. Number 10 was Dave. Honorable mentions, I think you should leave. How so to with John Wilson, Beef, Dave. Slow Horses, and Reservation Dogs. So sick oh, Reservation Dogs is good. So now I guess you don't really need to listen to it because I just gave it to you right there. But go listen to it anyways. 
No, we need. They need to listen to understand why. Yes, yes. Thank you, Eden. Thank that's you. It's very that's entertaining. It. You don't even have to see, listen see, to Mo, it. That's how it's <laughs> done. See, that was supportive, and it was a little bit of banter. See, like that's you, not you my should go take here. notes. Maybe you should that's take like an improv here. class that's to learn about. Role. Mo, it could be. It could be. <laughs> yes, and uh, I like what yeah. I'm doing yeah, yes, now. Yes, and yeah. I like what I'm doing better. Uh, it's fine. I'm just gonna keep doing most stuff. I'm just gonna keep doing whatever I want, BB. Don't worry about it. The dinner party in Spain. Well, Zach, you need to get to the show. We got to talk about it when you watch it. We'll All just right. text about it. Don't like that. We we'll <laughs> love it. As long as it's not beans. All right. For Eden Liu, Emily, Zach Harper, Katie Chernobyl, Mo Dakiel, I'm Anthony Mays. We'll catch Bye. you next time on The Mailbag. Bye. Oh, wait.